Hi guys, Miss Mason here with a video for you about lines and shapes. Okay, this is just a quick review since you guys have already learned a lot about lines and shapes in the past, but we're just going to review it real quick to refresh our memories. Okay, so starting with lines, okay, normally this is a handout that we would do in class together, but since we're not together and we're not doing handouts, we'll do it online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate all these different lines to you. I want you to practice on your paper and just have it available to re remind yourself of different kinds of lines you can use. But before we start drawing lines, we need to refresh our memory. What is a line? So if I start with a dot, right, a line is just a dot or a point that moves, okay? So for example, there's my dot and it moved and became a line. That's all it is, okay? So, that is a good example of a pretty straight line. So I'm gonna label that one straight. Okay, all right. Now, on our first square, it says diagonal. So, diagonal lines, remember diagonal is actually a direction and it goes corner to corner, okay? Oh, you can't really see the whole X. And we put arrows on it because it's also a direction. Okay, so you could actually use that when you're talking about something, that person diagonally across the room from me or whatever. Okay, so I need to label that one too. Let's see. I'll just write it here. Diagonal. All right. Now, the next one, horizontal, okay? Horizontal is side to side. And again, it's also a direction. So I'm going to put my arrows on it. And I'm going to label that horizontal, okay? That word comes from the word horizon, which is the line where the earth and the sky meet. And it usually looks pretty straight across. Sometimes if there's mountains involved, it can look like a different line. But it's the horizon line. So a, a flat line side to side is a horizontal line. All right. Next one says vertical. All right. Vertical goes straight up and down. And again, it's also a direction. Okay, yep, we got it all in there, and I dropped my lid. Ugh, there we go. All right, so those are our directions, vertical, horizontal, diagonal. Okay, now we talked about straight lines, but these are all straight lines too, right? So a straight line can be any of these. It's also horizontal, it's also diagonal, it's also vertical, okay? So those are all straight lines. All right, next box, loopy. <laughs> This one's fun. Loopy lines look like an old-fashioned telephone cord. Kind of like that. Okay. Loopy. All right. Next one says zigzag. That one's easy too, right? We all know that. It's how little kids draw mountains or lightning bolts. And the word zigzag has zigzags in it. Look at that. The Zs are zigzags. That's so cool. Okay, next one, dashed. Okay, you've probably seen the lines on the street that are supposed to help drivers stay in their lane. That's a dashed line. Okay, next one says monster teeth. Now, the big fancy word for that is also crenellated, but monster teeth makes everybody think of certain things. And when I show you what this looks like, you're going to go, oh, yeah, of course, that's monster teeth. Okay, so up, sideways, down, sideways, up, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, and so on. Cool, huh? Kind of reminds me of jack-o'-lantern teeth. All right, so there's our monster teeth. Okay, next one says wavy. So let's do some wavy lines. Now wavy is not loopy and it's not straight. It's somewhere in between. 
okay? Sort of like ocean waves. All right. Next one says spiral. Oh, how fun. Okay, so a spiral is like a circle that never closes. So let's write spiral. Okay. And the next one says dotted. Now I know a lot of students want to just take their marker and go dot, 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 dot. It should not look like you dumped out the pepper shaker. Okay, it should look like a dotted line. Think about a line of ants. Okay, so for example, if my ants are traveling, they always stay in a line. Might not be a straight line, but they are in a line. Okay, so there's our dotted line. All right, and the last one says bumpy. Okay. I want you to imagine a frog or a rabbit hopping. Boing, 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 boing. Right? So, bumpy line. Boing, 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 boing. Easy, right? How some people also draw hills. Okay. So, there's our lines. All right? Now, if we take these lines and make them go around till they touch themselves again. So, for example, if I take my straight line and I start here and I go straight and then I turn and then I go back and then I turn again if you when you close a line it becomes a shape okay now shapes are two-dimensional that means that they're just flat there's they've just got height and width okay they're not 3d they don't they don't look 3d okay so this is a 2d shape all right so we're going to review shapes really quickly, okay? So I just made a square there. So we'll go ahead and label that one with square. That's a pretty decent square. All right, another shape would be a triangle. Okay. Another shape would be a rectangle. Okay. And another shape could be a circle. The line goes back until it finishes itself. Okay. And a semicircle. You guys know what that is. I think my red marker is not doing so well. Okay, and a star is a shape because it's the line that continues until it closes itself. Up, down, out to the side, straight across, back to the beginning. Okay, and a crescent moon is a shape. Okay. A full moon, a crescent moon. All right, heart is a shape. Okay, an oval, like your track, is a shape. So it's kind of like a circle, except it's been stretched out. Okay, and then we get into the more complicated shapes, like an octagon, which has how many sides? Eight. Eight for octo, similar to the word ocho. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagon. Okay. I always have to count it out loud when I'm drawing those. They're not my best shape. And there are other ways to draw an octagon. You might know them, and that's fine. Okay, next one is a hexagon. It has six sides. One, two, three, geez, four, five, six. And that is our hexagon. Okay. All right. Next is our pentagon, which has five sides. Four, five. Looks a little bit like a house. Okay. 
And some other fun shapes are a trapezoid. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Might have to erase some lines. A teardrop or a raindrop. Okay, pointy at the top, round at the bottom. Let's put drop. Okay. All right. And a, um, what do you call it? A, a parallelogram, a rhombus. Anyways, you guys will correct me. I know it. Okay, so there's that guy. I'm going to say rhombus, although I can't remember. I don't think that's exactly right. But it is a shape, and it's not a square, and it's not a rectangle. It's sort of tilted. Okay. All right. Next one is a lightning bolt. Ooh, how fun. So we start with a zigzag and then go back up to the top. We'll just say bolt. Okay. And a diamond. At least this is what I call it. This may be what you guys think of a rhyme rhombus. We're going to label it diamond, though, so it's different. Okay, and then another shape you probably haven't thought of is what we call organic shapes. Think about puddles in the sidewalk or when you spill something on the table, like milk, for example. It makes a real wavy shape. So any kind of wiggly, wavy shape is an organic shape. It's hard to measure, doesn't have straight sides usually. It's not regular, it's not predictable, okay? So, there's all of our lines and shapes that I want you to practice and store in your journal or your notebook or someplace as a reference for the future, okay? Have fun, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.